Hi there. Today we will go through a workflow where we extract this guide curve in Houdini from Create. We will generate instances of power poles along this curve. We will also generate the power lines procedurally as part of the process. We'll output our power pole instances and the power line mesh into a new USD file that will add as a reference into our working USD file. Once this is set up, we can quickly iterate on the placement of the power poles and the generation of the power lines. In the object context in Houdini, you will find the HDA in Omniverse, Examples, Example Power Lines. A scene with a guide curve has been provided and is read by Houdini when you create the HDA. In, to iterate on the scene, we need to save the USD file elsewhere because the provided file is read-only. To do that, I just opened up the uh, road scene USDA and save as into a Houdini Power Lines road scene USDA on the local host. After that, we can right-click and say copy URL link, which we can then paste into our Houdini session under the base scene. Next, we go down and uh, the power line output should already be pre-filled to the location where we want to go. Click refresh all and export. Next, we hop back to create, grab the USD file we output, drag it in here and zero out the transforms. And we have our power lines in place. Now we can hop back to Houdini and play with some of the exposed placement properties and introduce some randomness in both the translation and the rotation. We can recalculate the procedural wire and then we click export again. Back in create, we can right click on a reference and say refresh reference. And that is how fast it is to iterate from this point. So now we can create a much longer guide curve by either right clicking on the existing one and say edit control vertices or create a brand new one and making sure that the name is the same. Save the scene. And back in Houdini now, we can click the refresh all and export and uh, jump back to create and reload. It is fast and really fun to iterate this way. Uh, one quick note I had on the, my strategy on, on how I did the procedural power lines is I embedded these three transforms in the power pole that is being instanced, one point for each place where the wire runs through, and then extract these and instantiate these points along the curve at the same place as the instances are being placed. And then I generate the wire and feed that into the vellum solver that creates the droop in Houdini. This is just one example that we provide and you can dive into the node and discover sort of how we set this up. But I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with the Houdini connector. So have fun in Omniverse.